Well, hey y'all, guess where I am? I am at the post office and because we've got some new baby chicks and uh, I'm super excited. We've been waiting on these. We ordered them, I don't know, it's been probably six weeks or more since we ordered them. So it took a little while for them to get to us. And, uh, but they are here and I can't wait. I haven't opened the box yet, so. We're gonna take a little peek. We're about seven, you hear them? I don't think they like me opening the box. Oh, that thing is stapled in there good. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Looks like they added a couple of extras in there. And I'm not sure what these guys are. <laughs> what are these little things? You see that, that little red chicken? It's awfully cute, whatever you are. I'll have to go online. We got these from Breeze Farms in Mississippi. I'll create a link for you uh, down below in the description box if you want to check them out. And there they are. These are the little Breeze chickens that grow really fast. Um, it's a really good substitute for Cornish Cross because Cornish Cross, they cannot breed, but these can. These can breed and reproduce. And at 16 weeks of age, they start laying. So uh, we're super excited. And because if it gets to the point where we can't find the Cornish Cross, which we've really enjoyed in the past, this will be a really good substitute which we are going to be going with these from now on instead of the Cornish cross the flavor of the meat is supposed to be just outstanding and uh yes we're gonna give it a go we're gonna see how it goes yes we are you're so cute there's just nothing like a little baby chick is there just adorable well it's good and warm in this car so they seem nice and warm and happy Look at this little thing. This one's a little lighter. Are they cute? I know, Precious. Come here. Come here, you yellow little butterball. They've eaten all their food, drank all their water. So we're going to get them home, get them all set up. And uh, so let's get going. All right, so let's get on home and uh, get these babies tucked away and get them some food and water because I bet they are thirsty and uh, ready to stretch their legs. All right, y'all. Well, we're home. <laughs> and now I've got the little puppy pen set up out here on the back porch because it's nice and warm and uh, much warmer than it is on the inside of the house. And we want to, they need to stay at 95 degrees for the first week, which uh, it's got to be at least 92 out here. I need to get a thermometer out here so I can be able to check. I will put a heater in here and we'll turn it on at night time so that way when the temperatures do drop down to about 70 degrees, um, they'll be able to get under there and stay nice and warm. Now I've added them some water in the middle of the pen here. I've only put paper towels down to start with just because they're, you know, two day old chicks. And uh, they, they're, they you know, they've been in a little cardboard box. So I want them just to be nice and comfortable and not to be kind of freaked out by big old shavings. A couple of days I'll start adding some few shavings in there and uh, get them accustomed to that. But I have a little water in the middle. I have rocks in the water. Now, in the water I put in there too, it was warm. It wasn't hot, it was just warm, like body temperature warm. And uh, put some rocks in there, so that way they don't climb in there, get wet, fall over, and drown, because they are brand new baby chicks. I did add a teaspoon of sugar and stirred it around really good just to uh, melt it in the water to just give them a little energy boost since they've been in that box and just to kind of give them a good good little kick start here. So let's go get the babies and get them in their new home. What is it about baby anything? All right, me and the chair didn't last long. So I want to give them a little drink. Just stick, her, stick its little beak in there. There you go. Make sure it gets a little drink. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. That baby likes that. See, that baby was thirsty. But you want to give them a little drink. Now, once I get them all settled in here, I will go get them some feed. 
and uh, just a little chick starter. Now the breeze chickens, they are supposed to be the best tasting chickens out there. And I've heard or I've read, I don't remember which, like the last two weeks before you harvest them, that in France, they feed them, they add milk to their grain. And it just gives the meat really, really extra good flavor. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I like to know that they're, they're getting a little water. They're drinking it, there you go. See, you can tell they're super thirsty. Now since they've all kind of, they're gonna go over there and see what the other ones are doing. I think we got enough started that they're gonna show the rest what to do. I know, you cute little things, you. Now you know it's gonna be hard to get any work done around here with these babies. <laughs> because I'm gonna wanna sit out here and watch them and see what they're up to. Now a minute ago I checked my phone and my the Breeze Farms had texted me and asked or, or informed me that my chicks were at the post office and they were ready for pickup and wanted me to be sure and let them know once I got picked them up and you know how they were. And uh, I've never had that happen before when I've ordered chicks, and I, I'm just, I'm really impressed with that, and I really, I like that. I've been very pleased with Breeze Farms from uh, start to finish. Now, they do specialize in the Breeze uh, chickens. Uh, they have different colors and such, but they do have other kinds of chickens, too. I saw when I scrolled through there, they had a... Uh, was it a speckled something other or a Sussex? I'm not sure. Uh, Black Copper Moran, Wine Dotes. All right, so I think they have found their water very well. They are drinking up a storm. <laughs> Those little red ones, I don't know what they are. When I replied to Breeze Farms, I asked them, I said, yes, I got them. They're healthy, they look great. And uh, by the way, what are those two little red ones? So we're gonna see, see if they answer and, and uh, find out what they are. We may have to wait till they grow up, but we'll see. All right, guys, I'm gonna go get them some food because they are probably just as hungry as they are thirsty. Well, they look very happy, very settled. The heater is on, but it's nice and warm out here on this back porch. And uh, they don't seem to be cold at all, do they? They look very happy. I'm not at all sure that heater might be a little bit too low. We'll have to see how they do later in the day when it starts cooling off and uh, see if they can get in there under there okay and make sure that they're good. I will get a thermometer out here so I know exactly what's going on. And we're just gonna keep an eye on them and watch them grow. Because like all babies, they grow way too fast. Which 
speaking of babies, just want to give you a little heads up for all of you, uh, all of our followers out there. Uh, since we are a new channel, we haven't been around that long. And uh, because of the way our farm has progressed and in the direction that we are going, uh, in the past we have named our, our, our channel and uh, that fit what we were doing, but we have decided to make a change to the name of our farm because it really fits us, it fits our personality, and it fits, it fits our love for animals. So um, our new YouTube channel, our new name all the way across the board, guys, is going to be Sweet Nibbles Farm. Now we haven't made an official change yet, but it will be very, very soon. We do have an Etsy shop, Sweet Nibbles Farm, and uh, but that's the only place that it has officially changed so far. Just want to give you a heads up. Sippy Made Homestead is not going away. We're just changing to Sweet Nibbles Farm. All right, guys, if you haven't hit that notification bell, be sure and hit it so you can keep up with all the new videos coming out because we'll be going along. We'll be showing you how they're growing, how they're doing, their new house. <laughs> All right, y'all, until next time, take care and God bless.